Hi, everyone. Welcome. There's so much happening in Android right now. So we're kicking off the Google I.O. season with what you've all been waiting for, the Android updates. This is the Android Show, I.O. edition. As many of you know, Android is the most popular OS in the world, with more than 3 billion active devices in over 190 countries. Of course, Android goes way beyond phones, powering some of the most important devices in your life. Watches, tablets, TVs, and so much more. It's got to be easy across all devices. Like with messaging your friends and family. It should just work, no matter what phone you have. You should be able to send high-quality photos and videos and add someone to the group chat without it breaking. That's why we helped make RCS the messaging standard across Android and iOS. Now in the US alone, there are more than a billion RCS messages sent every day. Finally, we can all hang out in the group chat together. Android's beautiful new design is flexible and customizable to reflect your personality and style. That's always been one of the best parts about Android. Everyone's different, so why should every phone look the same? With that in mind, I'm excited to announce the biggest evolution of our design language in years. We call it Material 3 Expressive. It's coming to Android, Wear, and all of your favorite Google apps on these devices later this year. It's a UI tailored for you with colors, fonts, and animations that you can personalize to evoke just the feeling you want. Like when you're dismissing a notification, just look at those silky smooth physics and the soft haptic rumble when you snap the notification off. It feels so satisfying. And you can see that same attention to detail in your recent app screen. When you start dismissing an app, the others huddle a bit closer, and if you let go, there's a nice cascading droplet effect. Our new motion physics system powers these happy little moments across our devices. You'll have to give it a try. Android is getting more personal, too. It's got updated color themes, responsive components, and emphasized typography, even across your favorite Google apps like Google Photos, Fitbit, and Gmail. The notification shade. It's one of the most used screens on Android. You see it constantly throughout your day, but if you let your notifications build up, some of the important stuff gets buried. That's where our new feature, Live Updates, comes in to highlight what you need to know, so you can stay focused about what you care about. Maybe you and your friends are ordering Uber Eats for a night in. While you wait, no need to obsessively open your phone to check for updates. You can put the phone on the table, focus on your conversation, and still get glanceable live updates to track your order delivery. Real-time updates from your favorite delivery, rideshare, and navigation apps are now front and center. Across the entire phone experience, there are all these small, delightful design improvements. The refined home screen grid makes all new widgets and icons line up just right. You get more customizable quick settings, which lets you pack in those controls you use most. We also subtly blur the background to provide a sense of depth, so you can stay in context when you're navigating your phone. And it's really performant, thanks to some clever computation behind the scenes. So you'll get a beautiful UI without draining your battery. We're working hard with our partners to bring Material 3 expressive design to life on Android 16 devices. You'll see it first on Pixel later this year. Wear OS 6, arriving later this year, will deliver the most expressive version of Wear OS yet. Material 3 Expressive puts the round watch display at the heart of the experience. Notice how every element, from buttons to notifications, embraces the circular screen. Corners are perfectly rounded, creating a softer, more approachable feel that matches the physical shape of the device. Lists now transform as you scroll, giving a sense of depth that makes information more accessible. Daily experiences like the pin pad and media controls have been completely refreshed with fluid animations and responsive feedback. And those smooth transitions you love on your phone are also coming to your watch. Your experience remains seamless on any screen, thanks to shape morphing elements that adapt perfectly to each screen size. The new UI is stunning. And my favorite thing about the Wear OS 6 updates is that you don't need to compromise battery for beauty. Thanks to platform optimizations, watches updating to Wear OS 6 can see up to 10% battery improvement. We've completely reimagined Android with Gemini right at the center. It isn't just an app like on some other phones. It's a powerful assistant, just one press away, helping you get things done across your entire phone experience. 
Gemini is already available on Android devices around the world and in over 40 languages. You don't even have to wait for it. All you have to do is hold the side button, and you can do things like quickly take actions across your favorite apps, dig out information from that really long PDF or video, or talk through whatever's on your mind. And hey, you know those times when you need help with something and it's way easier to just show someone? Yeah, you can actually do that now with Gemini Live. Share what's going on in your screen or even what you see on your camera. And Gemini can give you answers, fashion advice, or a nice summary when you're just short on time. I gotta show you this one in action. So I got this super long call sheet email this morning. Basically all the details on the Android show prep, like hair, makeup, rehearsal timing, the works. Now, I could have and should have gone through it myself, but I have Gemini here to help. I'll just hold the side button, click on share screen with live, and I can scroll through this massive wall of text so Gemini can take a look on my behalf. And I can ask what really matters. Uh, what time do I finally get to eat lunch? Okay, I can help you with that. It looks like lunch is scheduled for 1 p.m. in the Google cafeteria, and it's a buffet. Is there anything else I can help you find in this email? That's awesome. Okay. Well, speaking of lunch, they've put makeup on me, and it's definitely a first. I don't know if I need to be careful while eating. Luckily, I can switch to sharing with my camera, and I can get some tips from Gemini. Okay, well, I don't even know what I'm looking at. What does all this stuff do? Okay, I see the makeup. The sponge is for blending, the bottle is foundation for your skin tone, and the small jar is concealer for blemishes or dark circles. Um, do you have any tips for how I should be careful while eating? Since you have makeup on, try taking small bites and dabbing your mouth gently with a napkin to avoid smudging. Eating utensils can also help keep your hands clean. Okay, that is super helpful. So, as you saw, what makes camera and screen sharing with Gemini so special is that Gemini doesn't just analyze a static screen. It understands your interactions and constantly processes information as you scroll, use your phone, or show it content in real time. And of course, privacy is super important here. You're always in control from turning sharing on, putting Gemini on hold, or ending the chat at any time. And by the way, these amazing Gemini Live features are available for Android users right now. No advanced subscription needed. We're expanding Gemini way beyond phones because a truly smart and helpful assistant should be there with you across all your devices and adapt to the way you use them. On a run, in the car, or even on the couch, your assistant should be ready to go. In the coming months, we're bringing Gemini to your watch on Wear OS. It's really helpful to have Gemini on your wrist in the moments when your phone isn't handy, hands covered in flour while cooking, rushing between meetings, or in the middle of a bike ride. There's no need to get the words just right or awkwardly type into a tiny screen. Just talk naturally. So when I'm at the locker room in the gym and I've already put my phone away, I can still set a reminder for myself like, remember I'm using Locker 43 today. And Gemini can understand me even when I'm in the middle of exercising. So I can ask, where's the restaurant Emily emailed about for tonight? And there it is. I didn't even need to pause my workout. Gemini is also coming to Cars, starting with Android Auto in the upcoming months, followed by Cars with Google built-in. Gemini is really good at understanding what I want while I'm driving, whether it's local information or a fun podcast. So instead of focusing on the perfect prompt or tapping the right button, I can stay focused on the road ahead. And it's not just finding the best route, it's about helping you along the way. Gemini can help me find a charger that's on the way to the post office that's also near a park so that I can go for a walk while my car is charging. Here are some vehicle charging stations near Vasona Park. And rather than just reading my messages, Gemini can summarize them. Your mom said she wants to hang out this Saturday since the weather will be nice and suggested a picnic. I can tell Gemini, let's meet up at the beach, add a sunshine emoji, and translate it into Korean before sending. All right, message to mom saying, 해변에서 만나요, with a sunny emoji. Okay, now one other thing that I'm really excited about is Gemini Live, which can help me take advantage of all those hours I spend in the car. I can just ask, give me a quick rundown of the news today, but leave out sports. Here's a quick rundown of some of the top news headlines today. 
Tuesday, May 13th, 2025. It can even help me out of a jam. Like if I'm on my way to book club, and really I finished the book, but totally forgot what happened. I can say, give me a quick synopsis and a couple of good points for discussion. Ah, Pride and Prejudice. Here's a quick rundown. In the English countryside, the witty and independent Elizabeth Bennet clashes with the proud and aloof Mr. Darcy. Now, what about when you're back at home for the night? Later this year, Gemini capabilities are coming to your TV, too. With Gemini on Google TV, I can ask for action movies that are age-appropriate for my kids and get the best recommendations. And TV isn't just for entertainment. I can help my kids explore their endless questions about the solar system. Gemini pulls up the perfect YouTube video and explains how it's basically like a giant playground filled with stars and planets. Perfect for my first grader. Okay, so Gemini is on the small watch screen, your screen on wheels, and the biggest screen in your living room. And hey, what about the infinite screen? Later this year, Gemini is also coming to Android XR. As you might have heard, Google and Samsung are collaborating on Android XR, a new platform for extended reality devices, headsets, glasses, and everything in between. Gemini unlocks powerful new ways to interact with these next-gen devices. Imagine Gemini helping you plan a vacation by surrounding you with videos, maps, and local tips, creating an entire itinerary in minutes within a rich, immersive experience. We'll share more on Android XR at I.O. next week. Android has a long history of delivering strong protections to keep you and your devices safe from the unexpected. Android is there to make sure your devices stay safe too. We launched the Find My Device Network to make it easy to find your phone that maybe left itself at your friend's house, or an earbud that launched itself from your pocket, or a bag that simply didn't want to get on your flight. And we've been making the network more helpful with continuous updates, new partners, and exciting features. People are already loving their tags from Chipolo, Pebblebee, Boat, Geo, and Moto. And soon, we're expanding to even more. Now, I love to travel, so I'm really excited about July and Mokobara rolling out embedded tracking for luggage. But if you have your own tags, we're partnering with major airlines around the world so you can share your tag's location directly with the airline for faster recovery of lost bags. Now, if you're on a ski vacation, Peak will make it easy to find your skis. No separate tag needed. And we're also amping up the fun factor with Disney-themed tags that will be joining the network. Personally, I love this baby Yoda tag. It's so cute. Maybe you're starting to see a trend here. These days, people are using Find My Device to find more than just devices. That's why Find My Device is now evolving with a new name and new capabilities. Meet Find Hub. Starting today, I could check Find Hub to see if my loved ones got home safe and share my location during a night out, all while still keeping track of my valuable tagged items in a single unified space. Find Hub was designed with safety in mind. We were the first to create cross-platform unknown tracker alerts, warning you when there's a tracker that's not yours following you around. And later this year, satellite connectivity is coming to Find Hub, ensuring you stay safe and can get in touch with friends and family in emergency situations when you don't have cell service. Android safety and security innovations are some of the breakthroughs we're most proud of. And we promise to keep working to protect you, your devices, and your loved ones. This is one of the biggest Android updates ever. And this year, we've totally changed the way we do product development to bring you Android 16 even sooner. So watch out for updates coming to your Pixel devices starting next month, and join us for an exciting Google I.O. in just a few days. We'll have deep dives from developers, the latest on Google Gemini, and maybe even a few more really cool Android demos. See you on May 20th.